with, here's my essay. Now look at how long that is. Look at how long yours is. Keep in mind that this is tight. Okay, and you'll notice when you see what I've written that maybe some of you are in too big of a hurry to, to get to the point where you say, hey, I'm, I don't know about that, that, that word. Hey, I'm mom. Well, okay, Mr. Billy doesn't let me say that. So I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with my paper because I just scribbled some stuff down in there really fast and that's good enough. And you don't want to be like that when you're writing. So here's the same outline over here on the side that you saw before. I just copied it onto this page. And let's see if we can figure out where, what in the paper goes with the outline, okay? And it transferred over. So you're gonna read along with me. Feel, you guys shout out any words that I don't say. This is a multi-paragraph essay on breakfast, okay? I often enjoy fun Time. with my family. <laughs> okay, so where did that come from? First of all, what is that? Background, Background. good. So what color is it? Blue. Blue. Okay, do you see that in the outline? Yes. yes. Many things, fun, family, right? I've enjoyed fun times with my family. So I'm going to draw a little connecting line to this. Sometimes we'll sit around the kitchen Table. and play board. Games. Most of you read along. What color would that be? Blue. Blue, good. This is all part of the? Background. Good. And this is all part of a bigger thing called my, right here, what's this? First paragraph. Introduction paragraph, right? That's my introduction paragraph. Do you see this sentence in the outline over there? Yes. What word or words do you see in the outline that has to do with that? Games. games. Notice all the information I give you about games. I don't just write, we play games. I mean, I, all this. Sometimes we'll sit around the kitchen table and play board games. Much more enjoyable to read. Okay. When we're all tired, we love to just relax in the living room and talk about our games. Okay, so what color is this? Blue. Am I talking about breakfast? No. No, this is all? Background. Good. So that's obviously that one. Talk. There is one activity that everyone in the family relishes. Hmm. Breakfast is often one of our most enjoyable family activities. So what do you think this sentence right here is? There is one activity. What color would that be? Blue. Blue, right? That's blue. Okay, still blue. I kind of threw in an extra sentence. Do you see that in my outline? No. No, but that's okay. I'm thinking I want to transition from all these ideas about the other things we like to do. I want to transition to that. If I just go from all this stuff to say, breakfast is one of the most enjoyable family activities, you're like, where did that come from? But when I say there is one activity relating back to this, are you listening? that everyone in the family relishes, and then I talk about breakfast, it's a nice connecting sentence to transition me into my thesis. Okay, remember all that. I'm almost done with the intro paragraph and you're gonna to talk to your neighbor. So, breakfast is one of the most enjoyable family activities. What is that? Green. Green, good. What is it? Thesis. Thesis. Notice how it's short. I do not put the word because in here. I don't give any details about breakfast. All I say is breakfast is cool. That's basically what I'm saying right there. Okay, do you see that over here in the outline? Yes. Breakfast, enjoyable like family activity, right? There it is, the thesis. Okay, let's read the next sentence. My family shares breakfast in two different ways. What's that called? Plan. Plan, good. So here's my plan right there. Okay, I'm going to pause, and you're going to talk to your neighbor right now. What did you see in this? Compare it to yours. What are you learning right now? Go. Okay, we're going to keep going here. I want you to notice that most of my time is going to be spent, I spent quite a bit of time talking about, about my intro paragraph. The same amount of time that I spent on this intro paragraph, I'm going to spend probably on the whole rest of the essay talking to you right now. The rest of it, once you get that intro paragraph, the rest of it becomes pretty simple. Okay, so let's read this next sentence. Most of our family breakfasts are eaten at? Oh. Good. What do you think that relates to over there? Look over there on the outline. What does that relate to? Is that my RDF or X? RDF. Good. So what color is it? Yellow. Okay, so most of our family records are eat at home. What's the key word in that sentence? Home. Home, right. So that came from my outline, see? We eat at home. All right, notice I didn't just write, we eat breakfast at home. I added a few more words to explain my thinking. Then I go into this sentence. Read along with me. It's not unusual to see my kids and their friends chattering in the kitchen, especially when one has a friend spend the night. 
Okay, now notice I put kitchen in here and I have kitchen in the second one right there. That's because good writers, when they go to write their essays, they don't stick to their outlines perfectly. Sometimes as you're writing, you're going like, ah, I like it better this way. And so you revise and you change what you're doing. So what color is this sentence right here, everybody? Red, Red good. Look at how long that sentence is. It's one sentence. It's not a run-on. I'm just giving a lot of information in one sentence. Okay, read along with me. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Let's, this is, has to do with their friends, right? Everyone loves to gather in the kitchen at about? 9 And prepare a big? Breakfast. Now, did I put the word party in there? No. Again, I changed my mind as I was writing. I'm like, ah, I, I kind of like it the way it is without putting party in there. Big breakfast, okay? Two sentences so far in red. Next one, we normally eat bacon, eggs, waffles, and? Hash even brown. hash browns, right? Did I have hash browns in here? No. No, that's okay. It's the same idea as this sentence right here. After we devour, you like that word? Yeah, okay, after we devour the big? Meal. Water flies everywhere and everyone laughs and dances as we collectively do the? Dishes. Woo, that's a big sentence. Notice I'm starting my sentence a little differently. After, we, everyone, it's. I don't start my sentences all sounding exactly the same. I'm mixing them up a little bit. Okay, and this is right here as we're doing the dishes. One word became all that stuff. Okay, now real quickly, let's go through this next one. On occasion, the family ventures out to a? Restaurant. For a? Breakfast. Good, for breakfast. So you guys all know that's yellow, right? Okay, restaurant. Saturday is the only day of the? Week. This is possible for? Us. What color is that? Red. Good. Notice I'm explaining going out. I'm explaining that that happens on Saturdays. Even the drive to the? Restaurant. Is fun as we tell stories to? Each other. Red. Okay. Red. And there's the drive. Sitting at the table to? Yes. We get more face-to-face? -face. Contact. Boom. Oh, wait a minute. That's not different choices. Tell your neighbor real fast why you think I did that. Why did I do that? Tell your neighbor real fast. Okay, let's keep going. Hopefully you figured out that good writers can mix it up and they change their mind as they're doing it. I decided to do that one first and then do this one. The nice thing about going to a restaurant is that everyone gets to choose different meals. You see, that one goes for this one over here. All right? I switched them as I, as I wrote my essay. In addition, there's less Work. for everybody with no cooking or cleanup. You like how I started that sentence with a transition right there? See, in addition, I got it there. So, related to that. Okay, I'm going to pause. You guys talk about how did I do my two body paragraphs in here. How does it compare to yours? Go. All right, so now we get to our last what? Last paragraph, which is called the what? Good, and what color is the conclusion? Say it if you know. Green. Green, good, good, good. Okay, so I'm switching to green. As you can, see. my family has very pleasurable times eating breakfast together. So notice that it sounds a lot like the thesis statement right up here. Breakfast is often one of our most enjoyable family activities. As you can see, my family has very pleasurable times eating breakfast together. Very similar to each other, but not exactly the same, because that would be boring. The next time you think about skipping, breakfast. remember my family and create some memories instead. So here we have this one, pleasurable times, don't skip breakfast. And you can see it doesn't sound exactly like the way I planned it here, but it's very close. And so I have a nice conclusion that wraps up my paper. I don't start any new ideas here. I don't go to this and say, oh, that, that, have you ever thought about eating a good dinner? <laughs> it's like, no, we don't want to start something new. We want to only wrap up what's already done here. Okay, pause, and you guys talk about the whole paper and the conclusion. Go. All right. So there you have it. That's my four paragraph, multi paragraph, multi means many, my four paragraph essay on breakfast. Is it perfect? 
No. no such thing is perfect. Could I spend more time on this? Yes. Hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of more time I could spend on this because you're never, <gasps> don't say it, don't even say it, just think it, but you're never that, that word when it comes to doing an essay like this. There's always things you can do to improve it. In fact, what I'm going to have you do right now, we're going to wrap up the lesson here on the video, but I want you guys to talk about what would you do to make my paper better? Could you actually improve on a teacher's paper? I bet you could if you're a critical thinker. Go ahead and talk to your neighbor about that right now.